Now at 7, it's day two of national coronavirus vaccine rollout. Another South Florida hospital has received its first supply of the Pfizer vaccine. Vaccination of frontline health care workers at Jackson Health System started as soon as the shipments arrived. They're among the first in Miami-Dade County to get inoculated. And today, Governor Ron DeSantis detailed the next round of shipments expected. This all comes as we learn that a second vaccine could receive emergency use authorization from the FDA by the end of this week. CBS 4's Ty Russell joins us now live with the latest. Ty. And this new protection is happening at a time when frontline workers heavily need it. And why? That's because numbers are showing the number of patients in Miami-Dade and Broward County hospitals are increasing. And so right now, those frontline workers still have more to worry about, not only because of the increasing numbers, but the full protection of the vaccine won't happen until three weeks after the first one when they are able to get that booster shot. Are you excited about this? Very at Jackson Memorial Hospital, <laughs> frontline workers are getting a new way to help fight against COVID-19. It's emotional for many who waited months for a vaccine and watch their patients who were sick not make it back home. You know, we're all sitting downstairs talking and I don't think there was anyone that didn't that wasn't tearful thinking about thinking about our patients, thinking about our healthcare workers, thinking, you know, everything they've gone through and and honestly, we think this is coming to an end now. So. Memorial Regional in Broward County received the doses yesterday. Today, Jackson Memorial sent us video of its shipment arriving. I didn't feel a thing, but I'm thrilled. I'm going to have antibodies to a, a disease that I've been fighting for the last nine months. And, uh, I'm going to be personally protected. The two health systems will help other frontline workers at hospitals throughout South Florida. Today's numbers show an increase in COVID-19 patients in Miami-Dade. There's now more than 1,000 in Broward. There's a little more than 500. And while in West Palm Beach, Governor Ron DeSantis explained why leaders chose five hospitals to get the first shipments. We were limited to five hospitals because they didn't want to have it go to 200 hospitals and then have any mistake exacerbated. They wanted to pick five. It was kind of a beta test. Today, the governor once again told us a new Pfizer vaccine shipment to Florida is still up in the air for December. Those next two week shipments of Pfizer are on hold right now. We don't know whether we're going to get any or not. He says there's an issue with production, but it's likely hospitals will receive Moderna's vaccine next week. A new study from the Food and Drug Administration today confirms the vaccine is safe and effective. The state's plan is to help frontline workers, long term care staff and residents, and hopefully open it up to seniors throughout the state. It's going to change the game. The governor is leaning on Johnson and Johnson vaccine, which will only require one shot to be approved early next year to help make the vaccine widely available. And we are expecting to hear from the governor again tomorrow. That's when he plans to make an announcement about long term care facilities and how to help those residents and staff members. Now, keep in mind, the Pfizer vaccine is one that requires two shots. The second one is that booster, so it can be effective. And the state is expecting the FDA to approve Moderna's vaccine. Thursday. We are live outside JMH. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.